once Word is installed on the iPad, you can open it up. The first thing it will do, it will ask you to sign in. So you just enter your Office 365 details for this. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll put in the email address, click next, and put in the password. When you've signed in, it'll come up, you're all set, and you can create and edit documents. So, what you'll find will be familiar if you've used Word on the laptop. So we have some uh, templates there that you can use, and you can just click on blank document and open a blank document. Recent will be a list of all the recent documents that you've opened because it's linked to your OneDrive. As long as you have Word on your laptop linked to OneDrive as well, uh, these will marry up. So you can work on a document on your laptop, close the laptop down, go onto your iPad, work on the same document on your iPad, and it will be seamless. Shared. It's important you realise that the shared icon here is the documents that are shared with you from other people. These are not the documents that you've shared with others. Uh, they're the ones that other people have shared with you. Um, and open. You'll notice straight away there it gives you your OneDrive account. So you can save things on OneDrive from your laptop, from your iPad, from your phone, and it'll all go into that one place in the cloud. You can actually save things directly onto the iPad. We can also add a place. So if you've got a staff folder with some documents in, you can add that there and it will all come up in your list on that side. But for now, we'll just look at new and we'll open a blank document. We'll look at some of the things that Word on the iPad can do. As I say, you should be able to recognize this if you've used Word before. So uh, you can just use the normal pop-up keyboard and type. You can change the font. You don't have the amount of fonts that you'd have on a normal PC, but you do get quite a few, um, and, and they will work across the two. Obviously, change bold, italic underline, do highlights, change font colors, all that sort of thing. Um, it's like a stripped down version of Office that you have on your laptop. But there are a few other features. As we can see there on insert, you have camera. So you can straight away take a photo with your camera uh, and it will go straight into your Word document. Tables, photos. Photos obviously will come in from uh, your photo library on the iPad. Um, one useful feature is draw. This will enable you to draw straight on the document using the iPad. Uh, that can be very useful if you just need to make a quick handwritten note or you need to highlight things. Uh, very, very quick, much easier doing it that way than you were on a, on a mouse with a laptop. Layout is just the little things like your margins, your orientation, your paper size. Reviews, if you're quite a, an advanced word user, you may be used to having uh, a review process on the documents where people can add comments um, and you can track the changes of the documents uh, that's all in there but also in there of course is on your ABC uh, is your spell checker word counts that sort of thing and then view is just how do you want to see the page so you can just see it as a document you can uh, see it as page width you can bring up the ruler take it away again other things we have in the top right hand corner we have the share button you can see straight away here you can invite people you do need to save it first you need to save it on your OneDrive before you can invite people but then it's just a case of putting their email address in and straight away they can come in and start editing the document with you in the top left next to the back button we have the file menu uh, this is where you'd save a copy you can change the name if you want to so we can just call this test and you can say I want to save it in my OneDrive or you can actually say I want to save it on the iPad. I'm just going to drop this on the OneDrive other things you can do in that file menu is as you can see there save a copy send a copy somewhere else um, restore it from an older version Printing, printing will only work if you have a compatible printer connected via the network. Once you're finished with the document, you can close it. And notice now that it's gone to my recent and at the top you can see test. 
uh, and it's actually detected that that's the latest document that I've opened. As I say, if you go on your laptop and you log in with the same account on your laptop, you will see that that document will be there. You can click on it and open it on your laptop in the full version of Office. A few other little things is next to each document on the right hand side, uh, you have a pin. The pin will kind of keep it on that page, so if it's a very important document. Uh, obviously these are list of documents in order of date that you've opened them, but if you want to kind of override that, uh, click the pin and it will stay there. Uh, and then the three little dots is a context menu. Uh, and from here, you can share it, rename it, delete it, remove it from the recent items, or change the properties if you wanted to. And that's a quick overview of Word for the iPad.